Hey guys, it's me Chris here and today I want to talk to you about this here. This is the QRX350 Pro. Now after using this for, I don't know, three or four months, uh, it's been a great drone, but there has been a few downsides. Now, the biggest problem I had was FPV, and as you can see here, I do not currently have a gimbal or camera on the quadcopter. Now, I'm looking at getting a variety of upgrades for this machine, um, and in this video, I just want to go through a variety of those and just how they'll improve the overall experience with this drone. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and step straight in. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to upgrade is this here. Now this is a gimbal. This is the J2D gimbal by Walkira. Now I'm going to sell this one here and purchase the J3D gimbal by Walkira. Now the biggest difference here, um, also being the control board, is um, the portion where it actually connects um, to the mount basically. So you've got two motors on the J2D gimbal and on the uh, J3 dingle, um, 3D gimbal you'll have three motors and what this allows is when the quadcopter itself um, turns left or right like so um, the gimbal itself won't just snatch to the left or snatch to the right it will turn it in a more smooth motion so that's something that's really important for me as a um, video creator so yeah guys the J3D gimbal will provide a lot more um, power when it comes to using one of these drones um, and it will basically allow you to get much much better footage so that's something that's very important if uh, you want to get some of the best footage uh, with your uh, drone. So yeah, guys if you're looking to get the best results with your quadcopter I highly recommend upgrading to a better gimbal whether it actually be the J3D gimbal or something even better like the Zenmuse by DJI but yeah, for the price, the J3D gimbal looks to be like a really good way to go. Um, I'm going to be importing that from China just for £90. I can sell this one in the UK for around 40 So it's only going to be around a £50 upgrade and it will provide much, much better footage. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about is something that's also very important and in fact, maybe much more important. And that's the camera itself. Now, when using this um, with the J2D gimbal, and not having FPV, so first person visual. I was in fact uh, just recording on it, so I, look, I looked at, um, back at the footage after actually using the drone. Now the camera I used on this was the SJ4000, um, which provided good um, video. It wasn't amazing, but for the price of just 60 pounds, whatever, um, you can buy them for now. That's um, absolutely great. So yeah, use that for a while, but that's obviously not what I need. And for when it comes to actually doing um, proper shoots um, or video, I need a first person visual so I can see if it's in frame, um, you know, where the drone's going and what's um, happening, happening at that exact moment. Now also linked to this is a monitor. Now with the uh, QR X350 Pro, you can either get the Devo, Sen, um, De Devo 7 or the Devo 10. Now I have the Devo 10 which provides a lot of features and is a good um, controller overall. Now I'm looking at getting a monitor which will go on top of this remote control and then that will allow me to basically see exactly what's happening first person visual. Now you can also uh, look at a variety of other things as well such as goggles. Personally that's not something I'd like to do because if something happened and I've got goggles on I can't see what's happening and I find it just to be a bit dangerous so yeah I might look at, look, look at that in the uh, near future but for the time being um, that monitor looks really nice. I'll link everything in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. Now, well, the reason behind buying the iLook Plus and then um, buying this monitor, I can't remember the exact name, is mainly down to the price. Now, I can buy this in from China for £200. Now, if I buy it in and use the iLook Plus for just a short amount of time just to get used to things, I could then go ahead and sell the iLook Plus and in fact not actually lose any money and in fact maybe make a little bit on the side so I can then upgrade to something like the GoPro or in fact go back to the SJ4000 put um, the relative cable in there and have it as a TV output then you can actually get the, the visual straight to your monitor so yeah really really great bundle deal there guys I'll link that in the description below um, it is relatively slow delivery 
not a big problem for me as I don't need it straight away. So something I'm going to look at um, definitely probably in the upcoming days. So yeah, I'll keep you guys update, updated on that and you'll probably see lots of content um, once that arrives here. So yeah guys, there were the main things. Also, this bundle deal does come with um, carbon fiber mounts so you can actually um, mount it to your um, remote control. So something that's really nice there. And then, yes, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to talk to, uh, to you guys about today. You've also got a variety of other things that I'm looking at, such as another battery. So if, if I'm looking at um, going ahead and doing longer flight times or I've got a longer shoot, then that's something I'll want to look at. You can also upgrade your props to carbon props or something that's a bit more aerodynamic or give you more lift. But you've also got to compensate in other areas such as battery life um, and, and other things like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video once again. Um, if you did, go ahead and give it a like, that is always really appreciated. And yes, yeah, subscribe for more upcoming content, that would be really appreciated as well. I'll see you guys very, very soon.